challenger Tony Busby just spoke to his supporters, but he did not concede. David Gonzalez is live at his campaign headquarters tonight. David. Hey, Ron, yeah, as you mentioned, he did not concede when he addressed his supporters here at his campaign headquarters, but he did want to get that message across that he is aware of the results that have come in, and he's also aware that he is trailing Mayor Sylvester Turner, but he says if the election does not go his way, it's because they didn't lose, it's because they just didn't have enough time, because he says from the very beginning when he announced that he was going to run for mayor, people thought that he was going to be smoked by the mayor, but of course, it was very closer, a lot closer than what he expected. He also says that uh, he's very proud of the campaign pain that he's ran because a lot of the issues that he addressed like homelessness, pet population, and of course fighting for firefighters um, is issues that people are talking about right now. And he says if this campaign does not go his way, it's something that he continues and plans to do. He also mentioned that if the election does not go his, his way, that he does plan to work with the mayor. He plans to offer his help in whatever way and whatever capacity he can. But he's also saying that right now anything can happen. He's not conceding just yet because as we mentioned, he is trailing right now by around 21,000 votes, but he says miracles do happen, and that's the message that he wanted to get across to his supporters. A lot of his supporters of here, of course, very optimistic, very happy to see him in good spirits, but as well, you can see some faces also turning a little sour as these results are coming in. But we also are noticing that more than half of these voting centers have not reported their uh, results just yet, so anything can happen, of course, but the uh, Tony Busby right now says that he is very aware of these results. He's, he said he's not an idiot, uh, to quote him, so he is keeping a close eye on what's happening, but he's also going to wait until tomorrow to make that decision if he decides to concede. I, I love this city, and if he becomes the next mayor, if he's reelected, I offer my help to him in any way to help him solve the seemingly unsolvable problems that we face. Let's be clear, I will not leave the fight. I will not leave the fight. And right now, Busby also mentioned that every vote does count, so he wants to make sure that every vote is counted before he makes his final decision about conceding or not. And of course, he says he's going to wait for that to happen until tomorrow. But right now, the message that he's leaving his supporters is one of optimism. He says he's going to take a small vacation after this. He plans to get back to work either way if the election does not go his way. He says that he's ready to do his job, but he's also ready to continue fighting for the issues that he's addressed. Some of the big ones, of course, was flooding, pet population, and of course, fighting for fire. And one, the one message that he did want to get across to uh, Mayor Sylvester Turner, if he does win, is that he wants him to honor Prop B and the vote that the citizens did when it came to providing uh, more uh, funding for firefighters. So that's the big message that he wants to get to the mayor directly. He addressed the mayor directly into the cameras. But here, right now, uh, uh, his supporters are hanging out still. Everyone is kind of still celebrating the evening because they believe that Tony Busby ran the best campaign. Ron. All right. Thank you so much, David Gonzalez, live with Tony Busby's supporters and more.